herzlich willkommen bei Firewall! Als allererstes habe ich hier erstmal eine Nachricht für euch von Fast Time Mudo. Ich habe darum gebeten, den stärkstmöglichen Gegner zu bekommen für Firewall. Und ihr habt geliefert. Ihr habt mir Mike Di Vecchio gebracht. Am 24.06. heißt es zum zweiten Mal überhaupt Fast Time Mudo gegen Mike Di Vecchio. Das erste Mal ging er als Sieger hervor, aber das wird nicht nochmal passieren. Denn ich muss ihn besiegen um mich für den Red Diamond Cup bei Restival zu qualifizieren. Und Mike D., obwohl ich dich respektiere, obwohl du sicherlich einer der besten Wrestler Europas bist, muss ich dich besiegen und werde ich dich besiegen. Und bevor ihr jetzt ewig lange auf dieses Match warten werdet, es wird heute Abend auf jeden Fall stattfinden. Und nicht nur, dass es heute Abend stattfinden wird, es wird genau jetzt stattfinden. Das folgende Match ist ein Singles Match angelegt auf einen Fall. Und es geht um einen Platz im Red Diamond Cup bei Restival auf dem Weg zum Ring. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here we, here we go, Firewall 2023, and let's get cooking. My name is Rico Bushido, I am the voice of champions, and right now we are watching Mikey D. Vecchio enter the arena. This is a big money match, this is a qualification match. Who is going to be the man to qualify for the Red Diamond Cup Tournament at Restafel? We're going to find that Mit out einem right here. Mit Gewicht von 106 Kilogramm. Er ist die Belgium War Machine. Meine Damen und Herren, bitte begrüßt den Thale, Mike D. Mike D. Vecchio. Known as a Belgian war machine, looking impressive tonight. He's got a back as wide as the ring almost. Look at the shape of this guy, looking like a titan. Already making a name for himself. One of the first times here at Unlimited Wrestling, but the people already know who he is. That's telling something. Und hier kommt sein Gegner. Speaking of of people knowing who a wrestler is, everybody in the arena here at Firewall tonight knows who this man is. He is the former Unlimited Wrestling Champion. He is none other than the man with the hardest kicks in wrestling. Mit einem Kampfgewicht von 92 Kilogramm, direkt aus Leipzig, steht er für Kampfkunst. Ladies and Gentlemen, Fast Time Mudo! And this means a lot to Mudo. Perhaps more than it ever did, more than anything in Unlimited Wrestling ever did. And that's because his popularity he has won over the hearts of the fans. They love him, they have, have accepted him as one of their own. So everywhere uh, he steps into the ring, it doesn't matter if it's in Bremerhaven, it doesn't matter if it's in Tala, Fast Time Mudo is home in the Unlimited Wrestling Ring. Getting a hero's welcome here, but he's got his work cut out for him. We've got a considerable size difference going on here. Considerable.
Mudo is not a body guy. He is a fighter. He's a Budo guy. He knows how to he knows how to utilize his kicks, his strikes, his quickness. But he needs to keep his distance from Mikey D. And right away they're going for a lockup. And now Mike D. Vecchio showing very easily that he is the most powerful man in the ring tonight. Perhaps one of the most powerful men within the Unlimited Wrestling ranks. Now both men are getting ready. Lock up now by Mikey D. And now the power by Mike D. And now Mudo utilizing those strong legs. And no, 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 no. Upper body power now. Mudo is being overwhelmed in the corner. Referee giving both men to the corner of five to break it up. Mikey D backing up now. Well, I wonder if Mike, who is from Belgium, can understand what people are saying right now, but Mudo certainly knows. And now, can't go for the lockup. No, Mudo goes under. Now, utilizing those low kicks, fast kick, putting on the brakes with Mikey D. Mike wants to kick as well. Doesn't have the fast legs, doesn't have the hard kicks. Perhaps not his wheelhouse. Now, Mudo with a sign of respect. Mike D looking at it like a primate, like he doesn't understand what's going on. Perhaps Mudo, the more intelligent wrestler in the ring, has a higher fight IQ. And now, both men go for the luck up again. Headlock. Mike D now, using that girth, using that strength, using that brawn, that, that bulk, that mass. Mudo now, going low. He's got his liver exposed for Mudo. If you expose your liver for Mudo, he's going to throw an up kick. He's going to throw an uppercut. He's going to reach that. He's going to see that. And now, Mike walking through a clothesline. And then walking through Mudo as if he weighs nothing. Now the war machine running the ropes. And again, putting on the blocks. No hip toss today for Mudo. Mudo now. Look like a combination of an Insigiri head scissors. Mudo has a lot of variation with those kicks. And look at Mike now putting on the brakes once again. It's almost impossible to move this guy, but Mudo is finding a way. Now Mike, very explosive for a big man. Mudo now, throwing a barrage of strikes, but to no avail. Mudo, who has promised everyone in his family, everyone in the crowd, all the Unlimited Wrestling fans that he is going to be the man at Restable, that he is going to be the winner of the Red Diamond Cup, but to, to do that, he has to qualify tonight. He has to make it happen. And now, nice sidewalk slam by Mike D. Not enough. Not enough to keep Mudo down. And what an opener here, ladies and gentlemen, of Firewall 2023, Unlimited Wrestling at its very best. Bringing you the best wrestlers from all over Europe. Correction, from all over the world. This is German wrestling at its finest. We are in the heart of Europe, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the heart of Europe, and you're seeing the Belgium war machine going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the man with the hardest kicks in professional wrestling, Fast Time Muda. Oh, and dropping that big elbow is Mike. And Mike now contemplating what to do next. Got those deep, deep lying eyes, that gorilla forehead. This guy is, he's got, he's muscular up until his ears. What a powerhouse.
Look at that chest. Look at that back. What a monster. And now, tossing up Mudo. Mudo now, using that momentum. Nice calf kick. He just springboarded off that second turnbuckle right in the face of Mike DiVecchio. And now, punch. Another punch to the temple. Kick to the temple. Mike D avoids the avoids more damage to his face. And now going for the cover. Perhaps a lazy cover. Do not do that with Mudo. And again, Mike D Vecchio. Mike becoming a star everywhere he goes in Europe, everywhere he goes in the world, people are recognizing his talent. And now he's come to Unlimited Wrestling and I can say without a shadow of a doubt that right now we have the most talented roster in German wrestling. So this is the ultimate test for Mike DiVecchio. Mike DiVecchio of course got that name, he's got that Italian heritage and now kick out by Mudo. But do not let his last name fool you, he is from Belgium. Like the late, great Salvatore Belomo, another Italian who lived in Belgium. A large migration scale. Tens of, tens of maybe a hundred years ago, people moved around in Europe a lot as they do now. So we've got a lot of um, Italian immigrants in Belgium as well who came there to work. Belgium has awesome pizza. Enough about pizza. Oh, let's talk about the kicks. The kicks on display now by Mudo. Spin kick, nice. Nice, did you hear that connect? And Mudo is now feeling it. But so is Mikey D, right between the eyes. Boom, rolling thunder. Now Mikey D, oh, he was laying prone. And now Mudo scaling those ropes. And the crowd now is feeling it like he is. Oh, double foot stomp to the lower back of the huge back of Mike D. Lazy cover now by Mudo. Perhaps because that move took a lot of energy out of him as well because he put a lot of power behind it couldn't follow through with the cover unfortunately but that what that's what fatigue does to you ladies and gentlemen that is what fatigue will do to you and now ah oh, kick to the chest mudo now with a nice jab nice jab there mudo now moving well moving well he's got another jab finds his mark hits the temple and now going low going low to the spleen to the temple again Nice combination being thrown by Mudo. He's now watching. Low kick. Low kick. Oh, 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 oh. Mike D now hammering those elbows. No. Super kick to the jaw. Drop kick by Mike D. Both men are throwing everything at each other except for the kitchen sink at this stage of the match. And now charging is Mike D with all that power. Lifting up that leg, a leg close onto the corner, avalanche style. And now with that shoulder and a suplex to the back. Nice side suplex, great elevation. Mikey D going to work and now lifting up Mudo in a torture rack and just flinging him off to the side. This guy's all power. This guy's all power all night long. Now the big boy's getting up. And the war machine now standing over, towering over Mudo. War machine now. 
Now grabbing the hair. Referee's right there. Kev the ref won't take anything from both these men, both these gentlemen. He's always on the money when it come, comes to officiating. Mike D setting up fast time for a suplex, but no, fast time putting on the brakes. Fast time once again putting on the brakes. Can you believe that this is only the opener of tonight's event? Firewall 2023 is on fire as the name tells you already, and that's because the stakes are high unlimited wrestling has grown out to become one of the biggest largest wrestling organizations on the european mainland and everybody wants a crack at that prestigious diamond cup but to do so you have to qualify and that's what it's about in this match that's why there's a sense of urgency on the face of Muda right now who is setting up for the pedigree yes pronouns he is my d it's getting spiked is this it no The man with the hardest kick is also the man with the smoothest chin. I haven't seen a wrestler with such a smooth shaven face in a long, very long time. Doesn't have anything to do with this match, but... Man, does this guy have a smooth jawline. It's like a baby bunny. Whoa, but there's nothing smooth about that. And there's nothing smooth about that. Oh, kick in the air out of the lungs of Mike D. Who's just taking it on the chest? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, and now he's just destroying Mudo. Look how little effort it takes Mike, Mike, Mike D to lift up Mudo. And now the athletic... Oh my god, a moonsault, but no water in the pool. Still, he isn't even phased. He just bumped on that large chest. But the chin, nothing can stop a blow to the chin. And that's it! That's it, that's it, that's it! Meine Damen und Herren, der Gewinner dieses Kampfes kommt aus Leipzig. Er steht für Kampfkunst und er hört auf den Namen Fast what a war! What a war here in the early goings! I mean, it's a shame for Mike D that he didn't advance because he put forth such a great effort. What a beast! But fast time, Mudo! Those kicks, those hard, hard kicks to the jaw, and in the end, proved to be too much for Mike D to overcome. Mike D is still rattled. He is still rattled. What an accomplishment. Rest of all, there are a couple of very, very hard kicks coming your way. And I, for one, cannot wait to see how Mudo will perform in the tournament. And look at the sign of respect now being shown by Muda. Look at the sign of respect. Handshake accepted. And these people are, are applauding the war machine right now. No doubt we're going to see him back in the future. But to, for now... It's all about the fast time, baby. Ah, unlimited fans. Heute ist es soweit, die Draufgänger gegen Sunshine Machine. Wir haben schon zweimal zu euch gesprochen und jetzt das dritte und letzte Mal. Denn heute, 
Heute, heute. Draufgänger, oh. das heißeste Tag Team im europäischen Wrestling gegen Sunshine Machine. Oh ja, yeah. ich hab's Bock. Ja, 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 wir haben Besuch. Guck mal. Oh, Männers. Da sitzen die Vollprofis. Bei eurer Vorbereitung bleibt's, oder? Genau deshalb kriegt ihr heute wieder auf den Sack. <lacht> Geht's? Läuft gut. Ja. Geht's. Läuft gut. Du. Das läuft sehr gut. Geht mal noch eine Milch mit Honig trinken und macht euch fit für eure Niederlage. Aber hey, wird eine gute Erfahrung für euch. Denken die eigentlich, wenn die beiden sind, nur wenn die Golden sind? Ich nicht, weißt du, den, den machen die. Viel zu hoch. Aber weißt du was? Wir bereiten uns jetzt vor. Und dann holen wir uns den Sieg. Ist so. Und dann holen wir uns das Gold. Oh ja, oh ja. Manchmal ergeben sich Änderungen in letzter Sekunde, gerade erst erfahren, denn für das folgende Match haben wir zwei hochkarätige Gastkommentatoren gewinnen können. Ihr habt sie gerade schon gesehen, sie sind die amtierenden Unlimited Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Meine Damen und Herren, bitte begrüßt Ivan Kiew und Pete Bouncer, auch bekannt als The Purge Club! Das folgende Match ist ein Tag Team Match angelegt auf einen Fall auf dem Weg zum Ring. With the ominous presence of the Perch Club next to the ring doing commentary, German commentary. Of course, I'm over here doing English commentary. We're going to check out this next match with these two guys coming out. They are exciting. I like them. The crowd likes them. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in for a treat with the Draufgänger. Sie kommen direkt aus Spicktown mit einem gemeinsamen Kampfgewicht von 160 Kilogramm. Sie sind das heißeste Tag Team in Wrestling Europa, meine Damen und Herren. Cody Kidman und Joey Light, auch bekannt als die Draufgänger. I love the Draufgänger. Recently, they wrestled in the Netherlands. They wrestled in Belgium. They're wrestling all over Germany. These guys are making a name for themselves. And last year, I already called it, these guys are the future of German wrestling. They've got that Midnight Express vibe, Rock and Roll Express vibe. The crowd is loving it. These guys are reckless. These guys are crazy. These guys will put it all out there. They don't care. They just want to have a good time. They want to entertain people and they want to win some matches. They've got those titles in their sights. Kevin Rev is wearing uh, a couple of Kitman uh, glasses right now. Give it to the ring announcer. He's cool anyway. He doesn't even need shades. Here he comes. Hold up. 
Hold up. <laughs> and their opponents. Come on. I'm having too much of a good time in there right now. You come and eat a gig now. von 190 Kilo. Meine Damen und Herren, Chuck Mambo und TK Cooper, The Head Bad Messiah and Big Papa Plan, The Sunshine Machine. Sunshine Machine. They carry on in the same feel good tradition as the Draufgänger did in their own special way. We've got a guy wearing fluorescent coloring. We've got a guy wearing a polo short. I think the message is clear. One guy just fell on his knee. Didn't even get in the ring yet. He fell into the ring and now he's already injured. What a debut, kid. Well, these uh, two teams should pair up nicely in the ring. <laughs> is, th is this Mardi Gras? Is this spring break? Did we go to, is, th is this, is it spring yet? Is this Cancun? Is that guy's name actually Cock Mango? Well, Cock Mango is going out right now. Cock Mango. I can only imagine how he got that nickname. And now, Joey Light gets Mr. Cooper. I have a feeling we're about to speed things up here, folks. Now, Joey Light showing them that he. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're starting the match with Snake Eyes. Shoulder tackle. Cock Mango. Pleasant trees being exchanged right now. What is Cog, where is Cog Mando going? And now Cody Kittman, Joey White. Oh, nice double teamwork, nice combinations here. Aha, uh -huh. they've got you well scouted, Draufgänger, tag team specialist. Double team combo coming up. Oh, -ho. pinfall now by Cody Kittman. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought they would have dispatched of these fluorescent kids early. Speaking of fluorescent, reminds me of the masks that Bouncer and Kiev wear. Those aren't fluorescent, cheerful fluorescent colors. That's the color of despair and destruction. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Shades of Rob Van Dam didn't get it, though. Now.
Oh, he's got so much fun with those little glitters on his face. Yes, Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. He also watches a lot of TV. Got a. He didn't. He, he didn't just go to Mexico for Mardi Gras. He's a big fan of Lucha Libre as well, and a nice double team maneuver. I, I swear to God, do that to Pete Bouncer or even Kiev. Bounce on the ropes like that while having them assist you by holding your hands. They will drag him off and tear his head off. I'll tell you that right now. They better be aware that the fun can be over at any time because these guys are armed and they're on the outside of the ring and they're looking on. You know, I don't want to be biased, but I can't wait for the Draufgangers to just pe beat these guys up. And now, Joey Luck putting on the brakes. Cody Kidman now. Atomic drops, got him on the corner. Now, setting him up on the top rope. Here we go. And now, assistance is called for by your own tag team partner. And look at that, snappy into a powerbomb. These guys are innovative. And the crowd is loving it. They're loving the Draufgänger. And now, backstabber by Mango. One, two, kick out, kick out. Joey White still in the fight. Refuses to give up tonight. Some pain is coming up. I feel some pain is coming up. Oh, and now the Sunshine team getting serious when it comes to the pain game. Finally. And now Taggart and Cooper turning that into some kind of downward spiral from the Mexican surfboard position. Awesome crowd tonight, by the way. We've got an awesome crowd here at Firewall. Oh! Cooper didn't come to play, apparently. His tights might suggest something else, but he didn't come to play. Hard drop kick to that spine. We're now communicating with his tag team partner. He acts highly disappointed. Do we have some miscommunication going on? Cooper looks a little bit lost. Very special. Ole! Ole! Oh, 
Oh, the tenacity of Joey Light, and now the big man is in the ring. Kidman, clotheslining one, clotheslining the other, clotheslining them both. Ah! Can you feel it, baby? Down go the straps. Avoiding a double clothesline. Now, back elbow to both gentlemen. He wanted to nip up, but Cooper was, was slowly dying in the middle of the ring. He got in his way. Cody Kidman just adjusted his angle. I love this. I love this. Kidman and Light are not taking any crap from these guys. Oh, but Cooper was right there. And now, again, gory special position. And now we're going to do yet another double team. Or Cooper is resting on the top row for a very long time, and that's what you get. These guys are very green, no pun intended. And now, putting the exclamation point. One, two, no, 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 that pasky Cooper. That pasky little TK Cooper getting in the way. Preventing the pinfall from being registered by the official. Meteora. Now, splash from the top rope. Some kind of screw on his knees. These guys are completely reckless. Canadian Destroyer. This match is so chaotic, it has become a complete cluster. I will not say that, but you know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. But it's still spectacular because these are a couple of guys trying to get the win. And the crowd is enjoying it. Are we having a tandem jump? Why not? That's how you do it. That's how you do it, Sunshine Team. It's not about getting caught up in those ropes and stumbling down. It's supposed to have an effect. Sunshine Team is lost now. From the, oh, from the heavens. And now, you're setting them up for the Beta Mill Tower, but the Beta Mill Tower is now crumbling as the Beta Males fall down. And now, it's Alpha time, buddy. Here we go. Boom, welcome to Germany. And that's it, the Draufgänger take it, thank God. kommen direkt aus Schnicktown. Sie hören auf die Namen. Cody Kidman und Joey Light. Zusammen nennt man sie die Look at that. Was it, what was that? The Sunshine Team tumbled a little bit too much. They should have... Uh, maybe they should have brought a little bit of violence to this ring instead of tumbling because the Draufgänger, they don't really care. They'll just play your game along until the playing is through. And they'll, then they'll just take your head off. Because that's how... Speaking of taking heads off! And now the fun is over, folks. This is what I was alluding to before. They were just stand, sitting there ominously. How can you go into a match? How can you relax when these guys are on the outside perch club? Now these are the real motherfuckers. 
Sorry for my language. But these are the... Oh, what are we going to... Wait. Are these guys on a suicide mission? Are these guys on a suicide mission? Were they helping out the Drowsganger? They were having a good time in there. At least it seemed like it. When they weren't busy breaking their necks. Well, these boys like each other. But the champs, the real champs, they don't like anybody. And now they're just standing there gritting. Enjoy the party while it lasts. Ich stehe hier backstage neben Mr. Uppercut, dem Blutsbruder Erkan Zulzani. Ich halte mich ganz kurz. Warum hast du dich gegen deinen Blutsbruder John Klinger gestellt? Darum. Denn er kann alles. Erkan Sultani ist die Zukunft. Nein, Erkan Sultani ist then, now, forever. Erkan Sultani ist hier und jetzt. Und das sollte auch mein Blutsbruder John Klinger begreifen. Und John, wenn du noch weiterhin deine Schnauze so weit aufreißt, dann werde ich dir nicht nur heute Abend den Titel abnehmen, sondern auch deine Frau. Sch Sehr schön, denn auch das folgende Match ist ein Singles-Match angelegt auf einen Vor. Auf dem Weg zum Ring. We got a female matchup coming up from the States. It's Devlin Macabra. She's been touring through Europe, leaving a trail of bruised egos and blood. Breaking a couple of hearts in the process, namely one in Switzerland that I know of. And now, Devlin Macabre, man, she's got a bad attitude. Did she just ask that guy to impregnate her? What, what was she doing there? That was weird. That was a little bit weird, bad interaction. Is the American tragedy. Please welcome Devlin Macabre. Devlin Macabre, the American tragedy. And how many tragedies, real tragedies, do we have left in America? I know the Greek tra tragedies. You know. And here Homer. comes her opponent. The Odyssey. Ah, Mila Smith. I love to see Mila Smith. Mila Smith is like a Park plug like a dynamo, like a. She's got gears for days. She can go. She can wrestle. She can fight. Former amateur-based wrestler. You can see that in her style. Of course, she is beautiful. No doubt, one of the best-looking women in European wrestling today. The giant killer. Please welcome. Mila Michelle Schmidt! Bonsoir, Mila Schmidt from France, of course. The giant killer. She might not be the tallest wrestler, but man, she can go for days. Devlin Macabre already got rocking the jealous look now. And now, oh, going low straight away with the headbutt. Nice. And now, Mila doing some tummy clapping of her own. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. We get it. You're being, you're being a bit jealous now, Devlin. Come on, let's wrestle. Mila's popular. What can I say? Look at this. Amateur wrestling on display, which means that Mila knows how to balance herself, knows how to control her weight, knows how to position herself, get the upper hand. On her opponent, she's very agile. Look at the bridge. Look at the bridge. That's something wrestlers, amateur wrestlers, especially Olympic level wrestlers, they specialize in that. And now arm ringer by Devlin on little Mila. Oh, throw chop. Devlin in the corner. Boom. Nice hip toss. Original judo hip toss. Drop kick to the face now of Devlin McCarver. And this athlete is doing it all. Two and no, Devlin McCarver. Retreating to the outside of the ring. Perhaps catching a breathe, breather. Restrategizing. Perhaps she wants to readjust her makeup because that's a mess. Maybe it's intentional though. She is the American tra tragedy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. guillotine now. Choking people out on the top rope, taking their heads off. Why not? One. For some reason, Devlin Macabre reminds me of the grunge era of the early 90s in Seattle. She's got that grungy attitude. Yeah, a lot of violence, but Devlin Macabre coming in hard. She's looking good in there against Mila. She's been rumored to be the biggest American tragedy since the opioid crisis actually. I'm just bringing you guys the news. Devlin Macabre showing us another side of America, not just the capitalist side, but also the dark side that comes with the capitalism. The people who are forgotten, the outcasts of society. People who are basically pissed off. And now, nice jawbreaker to escape from that predicament by Mila Schmidt, who's now exploding with a suit with the clothesline. Whipping in Devlin Macabre. Putting on the brakes is Devlin. Oh, very creative now. She saw her coming. She spun around. Kick ended up somewhere in the liver, I believe. It could be a nice way to knock people out. Devlin Macabre. Spent some time in Europe, wrestling for the various promotion. Apparently not Spain because she didn't get to catch any sun. So judging from her complexion, she uh, spent a lot of time in the western, northern part of Europe. Now, Dragon Sleeper. Dragon Sleeper variation. And now Mila just pulling that arm behind the back of Devlin Macabre. She can turn this into a Kimura or a Hammerlock. She can do a lot from this position. But it looks like Devlin Macabre has got it stitched in. Now Mila 
Mila trying to adjust her body weight to put some pressure on to try to get out of this submission maneuver. Mila now doing everything to escape from there as she does and now pushing Devlin McCombrey in the rope who puts on the brakes once again pump kick to the temple of Mila Smith who looks a little bit dazed oh, 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 oh she's out on her feet she's out on her feet and now no 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 was she playing possum perhaps yes she was yes she was great timing now by Mila Smith she appeared to be out on her feet, but she wasn't. She was just playing possum in order to lure Devlin into her trap, which he executed. Now both ladies are down. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Unlimited Wrestling Firewall 2023. We're watching Mila Smith against the lady with the fish nets, Devlin Macabre from the US, who calls herself the American Tragedy. I don't know if she's depressed. I don't know if she's bringing the sorrow. where you can see the amateur wrestling background with that belly to belly now oh nice 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 neck breaker one two and now gory special which has been beaten to death tonight, I'm going to be honest. I, 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 at this point, I'm going to, I'm wondering, are we going to see more European uppercuts than Gory Specials tonight? And now, Mila Smith kicking out. Devlin. Nice crossroads variation, Kevin, the referee's right there to count the three gun, no. Devlin is still in the match. Devlin is tough. She proved that. Mila now, look at surprise, all wide-eyed. Let's see how much Devlin can actually take against this little Wolverine. Oh, yeah, we saw that. We saw that, Mila. Don't worry. Yeah, 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 we did. Yeah, 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 yeah. The entire crowd, people back home, no problem. Go ahead. Devlin McCarver, she perhaps took a little bit uh, too much time patting herself on the behind. Now, Devlin could, had the wherewithal to anticipate on that. And look at this. Oh, I love that. I love that. And now... Devlin, Macabre going for the cover. No, 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 no. And now Dev Devlin is doing some uh, self mutilation. Pump kick? No, 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 says Mila. Oh, I'll give you a world's most beautiful headbutt for the for the effort. And now Gory Special, of course. Turn it into a widow's peak. One, two, three. Yes, Mila. Yes. Yes, Mila. Once again. The Giant Killer gets the victory. Meine Damen und Herren, die Gewinnerin dieses Matches, Mila Michelle Smith. 
What a war she went through here tonight at Firewall in the Unlimited Wrestling Ring against Devlin Macabre. It went back and forth. Devlin put forth a great effort, but in the end, it was the French superstar, Mila Smith, who got the victory. Ironically enough, from a gory special position. We love you, Mila. Can't wait to see you again. Meine Damen und Herren, auch das folgende Match ist natürlich ein Singles Match und es ist angelegt auf einen Fall. Auf dem Weg zum Ring. Tonight is all about the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. And nobody, perhaps, within the ranks of Unlimited knows that better than this man. The leader of Grupa, Ismena. Being accompanied by the transformed Kalevan. Meine Damen und Herren, in Begleitung von Matt Levan und representing Grupa Ismena, Rochester! Rochester, that cult leader type. What can I call him? Is he somebody with a messiah complex or he has people following him? Palavan transformed into Maldivan. We saw what happened to JD. Rochester, what is his mission? What is his cause? What is his quest? The crowd is telling him what type of bird they think he is. Liebe Unlimited Dorftrotte, why is Polyvan, why is Madlevan talking to that hoodie? Ihr wisst, ihr habt dafür bezahlt, ne? Also ich habe Zeit, so ist es nicht. Well, he sure is taking his time. Ich möchte euch Pachlewan Nima vorstellen. Mit ihm zusammen habe ich letzten Monat bei Ocean Bash Martin Guerrero besiegt. Weil Pachlewan Nima weiß nämlich, dass die Ismena unvermeidlich ist. Die Ismena ist revolutionär und die Ismena steht für Veränderung. Und weil die Ismena für Veränderung steht, möchte ich euch jemanden vorstellen. Mädelwan! And his little friend, apparently. 
whatever that hoodie is he's talking to. Ich erzähle euch mal eine kleine Geschichte. We're getting a little Wenn history lesson. Like, just a little bit. Like. Du? Du willst eine Geschichte hören? Er will eine Geschichte hören! The speech should have been history. This guy is just forcing us to, to listen to him, this indoctrination of this cult, cult leader. The leader of Grupa Ismena. Nein, nein. Ich bin nicht der Kackvogel. Ihr seid die Kackvögel hier! Da kommt hier sein Gegner! And Martin Guerrero knows that this time is the time to shut this bird up. We all know what happened last time. But this time it's time to shut that bird up. Martin Guerrero has had it. Meine Damen und Herren, direkt aus Halberstadt, Martin Guerrero! In the beautiful Halberstadt goes Martin Guerrero. The man who is responsible for all of this that we are watching right now. He doesn't owe us any favors. But man, would he do us a great favor if he would shut that bird up. And the crowd is agreeing with me right now. Because they want to see Madlevan leave the arena so that Martin Guerrero can go one on one with Crochester without interference. Now the bell sounds that both men just walk into each other. Both men similar height, similar weight. Crochester, perhaps the more conditioned athlete. Martin Guerrero, perhaps the better strategist. But do not discount the, strat the strategic abilities of the crow, who has a true mastermind, has constructed this whole Grupa Ismena idea. And now Kev the ref coming in between both gentlemen because, of course, Crowchester is hiding in the ropes, using the ropes to his advantage. How long will the referee How old, long will it be until the referee says no more? You have to return into the ring. That moment we just saw. Now Crochester once again craftily moving outside of the ring. Martin Guerrero now very aggravated, rightfully so. I mean, let's be honest. This is annoying, and now he's caught him. Now he's caught up to him. And now Martin Guerrero, ready to explode on his opponent. Suplex beautifully executed, and he is going to make it a two. Oh no, 
turn it into Olympic Slam. Perhaps did not land very favorably on the back of his head, but that was a price he was willing to pay. Sometimes that's what it takes. And now tuning up the band is Martin Guerrero. Now firing up, turning around, and bam, connecting, connecting. And now one, two, and that's all. Oh, and I was going to say that's all she wrote here in the early goings. You know, never underestimate how, how much a person can fire up if you have pissed them off enough. And Martin Guerrero just had enough. And I thought he just took him out. He threw that discus, he threw that discus lariat and oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Grochester now resorting to his old tricks. And now, and this is what he's good at. We were talking about the strategic component earlier on and I was praising Martin Guerrero to count. I was praising Martin Guerrero, but of course, these are two strategists here in the, uh, we're looking at in the ring right now, ladies and gentlemen. Two of Germany's wrestling finest at the moment. And now, Crochester following Martin Guerrero into the corner with that lariat. Putting him in place nicely, nicely, nicely. And now Martin Guerrero fighting off the crow. Martin Guerrero. And Crochester is just shutting it up very quickly. You know, you've noticed that during the years, Crochester has slowed down his in-ring game and has gotten a lot better for it. The results are tremendous. The guy performs in the ring. He takes the time to not just flip-flop and fly around, but now he's actually taking his time to demolish his opponent, to inflict pain, to force his opponents in the deep water, uncomfortable, positions of course Crochester has been trained in the north of Germany by some of the best German wrestling has to offer it now missile drop kick springboarded into that position beautifully executed Crochester ladies and gentlemen Martin Guerrero still kicks out as the crowd is furious with Crochet. So we've got people standing. Perhaps we should get some security to ringside over here. You never know what can happen in situations like this with an individual like Crochester. And now Martin Guerrero is fighting off, fighting out of that predicament. He's got the crow perched on that rope. And now Martin Guerrero setting up Crochester. Her Karana off the top rope. Martin Guerrero, a guy who thinks on his feet. He's got great wherewithal, great ring awareness. Able to turn a match around just like that. Will he do that right now? Setting him up for the... No, Crochester with the Enzigiri. Sending Martin backwards. Martin still, look at this. And here we go. One, two. That's what I'm talking about. What? No, 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 no. Moldova, 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 Moldova. No, disqualification. Referee disqualification. And the bell has rung. The bell has rung. Disqualification. Moldova now unleashing. Unleashing. Formerly known as Paula Nima. Unleashing here on Martin Guerrero. Let's get another referee in here. Kev cannot maintain order. Sieger he cannot keep Maldivar away from Martin Guerrero. He has just been attacked by a rabbit pit bull. Maldivar has gone insane. This guy is crazy. And there's Crochester up and about. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's Dominic Fisher, it's Surfer Boy. Surfer Boy to the rescue. And there goes Scrooge, and there goes Maldivon. 
Surfer Boy standing tall, helping his mentor up. That was his teacher. That was his mentor from the start, Martin Guerrero. These guys have a great relationship like a father and a son. Dominic Fisher could not stand for it any longer. Could not stand idle any longer. He just burst on the scene and he cleaned house. Wait a minute. It's Fabs. Hey, hier oben, ihr zwei. Hallo, Dries. Seid ihr... Was, was stimmt nicht mit euch? Seid ihr dumm oder so? Glaubt ihr ernsthaft, weil ich heute nicht persönlich in Thale vor Ort am Start bin, dass ich das nicht sehe, dass ich das nicht mitbekomme? Ich bin natürlich auf unlimitedwrestling.de im Livestream, im Firewall-Livestream. Und ich sehe alles. Ich beobachte natürlich auch alles. Und auch wenn ihr beiden glaubt, dass ihr euch die Regeln jederzeit so zurechtbiegen könnt, wie ihr es braucht, muss ich euch enttäuschen. Ja? Und um dieses ganze Ding jetzt hier endlich mal zu klären, was eignet sich da besser zu als ein Tag Team Match? Holla, holla, holla! Paying tribute to the great Teddy Long, great decision of Fabs here. Fabius Titus, of course, our general manager ruling that this is going to be a tag team match between Dominic Fisher and Martin Guerrero, Palavan Nima, Maldivan, of course, and Crochester. And now both teams just explode and unleash on each other. It's, it's, it, this, this one is not going to take long. This is going to be a disqualification. This is going to be a disqualification. They're not going to keep their cool. Both teams are at a point right now where they just want to tear each other's heads off. Look at this. And now, kick to the face of Molivon. Knee to the jaw of Molivon. Martin Guerrero now has Maldivan reeling. The man who so viciously attacked him a minute ago. He must have kicked and punched him over a hundred times, yet Martin Guerrero is standing tall, going on adrenaline, going on fumes, but just driven, driven by the hatred that he has developed for these two men standing across the ring from him right now. And look at Maldivan, resorting to the underhand tactics. Resorting to the underhand tactics, the illegal techniques, the street fighting skills. I don't know where this guy picked up those techniques. I don't know where this guy picked up those, these skills. But this guy has become a danger here. This guy has become a threat. And not just because of his skills, but because of his complete insanity. You cannot have a guy in a ring like that. He can bite you and now Crochester. The strategist, the leader of the team. Group by Ismena now connecting with a double team maneuver as if they had been waiting to execute that all night. And now Crochester driving the elbow to the sternum of Dominic Fisher over and over and over again. Crochester is a madman. Maldivan is a madman. Grupa Ismena has arrived. And now kick out, kick out by Dominic Fisher, kick out by the resilient youngster. We've seen him before, we've seen him during tag team matches as well with the surfing pirates. Of course, we've seen him as a singles competitor, but we've never seen him as intense as we saw him today. He stepped up in a big way, but speaking of big, what a big double team maneuver there. Tandem by Grupa is made up, but no, 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 no. Dominic Fisher is still alive. Dominic Fisher as intense as we have ever seen him. He is hell-bent on tagging in 
his tag team partner, Martin Guerrero, even if he has to walk through the five fires of hell to get there, and look at him go, just fighting off Maldivan, suplexing him, using his last bit of energy now to crawl over to the corner. Can he make it to Martin? No, 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 Crochester just yanks Martin. He just yanked him off the apron. Referee, referee. You, you have to have eyes in the back of your head. Oh, and now Maldivan. Dominic Fisher now. Oh, and the referee got hit by that Insigiri. Dominic Fisher did not mean to. He did not have the intention to kick cap the ref right in the head, but yet, by accident, he did so. And now, Maldivan going low as low as you can go. Oh! And Crochester just executed Martin Guerrero in the background, which is, that was just a headshot. A headshot kick. Nima now, scissor kick. Crochester with the knee. Grupa is Mena. They look unstoppable. Who can stop these guys? The referee is out. Martin is down. Dominic Fisher is down. Oh, wait a minute. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of rum. I referred to him earlier. The surfing pirate. Dominic Fisher's tag team partner. These guys have a history. These guys, he couldn't stand back and just watch these goons attack Dominic Fisher. These guys have a history. They've had ups and downs during their tenure as a tag team. But still, when the tide is high, they can always rely on each other. Big up, Marcus Monier. Big up for what? What? No! But what? But even Crochester seems surprised. What the hell? What is going on here? No, 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 no. Not like this. Not like this. No, not like this. Meine Damen und Herren, die Gewinner dieses Tag Team Matches, Grupa Ismena, bestehend aus Matt Levan und Crochester. Well, there is no load that Grupa Ismena would not stoop to. The biggest perpetrator of a crime tonight was Marcus Monir, who turned on his longtime tag team partner. His motivation, we do not know at this time, ladies and gentlemen. It's a big shock to all of us. As I said, they have their ups and downs, but nobody could have seen this coming.
Und ihr wisst, wir haben hier nicht nur die gefährlichsten Wrestler und Wrestlerinnen auf dem Planeten. Nein, wir haben auch die glücklichsten Announcer hier auf diesem Planeten. Denn dass ich euch das folgende Video ansagen darf, das ist für mich persönlich ein verdammtes Glück. Sorry about your damn luck. James Storm by Restival. Wie sehr freut ihr euch, Thaler? Wusste ich doch. So. Das folgende Match ist ebenfalls ein Singles-Match angelegt auf einen Fall. Und es geht um die Unlimited Wrestling Challenge Championship und auf dem Weg zum Ring. The Unlimited Wrestling Challenge Championship where surprises happen each and every time it will get defended. As right now, we're seeing the entrance video with Maggot. This guy is hilarious. Son of nothing, Maggot. As soon as Maggot steps into the arena, the mind games begin. He's got that orthodox way of moving around. Looks different somehow from everybody else on the roster. One of the smaller individuals Meine Damen und Herren, roster, mit einem Kampfgewicht von 76 Kilo. Er kommt aus 069 Frankfurt und ist der Son of Nothing. Meine Damen und Herren, begrüßen Sie Mega! Soweit zum Herausforderer. Und hier kommt der Champion. <lacht> ah, ähm, wisst ihr die Vorstellung, dass ihr gerade alle in Thales sitzt und darauf wartet, dass ich durch den Vorhang laufe, um meinen Titel gegen Maggot zu verteidigen? <lacht> das ist unfassbar witzig, weil ich nicht kommen werde. Ich sitze gerade im Auto auf dem Weg zum Flughafen und werde so in circa einer Stunde in meinem Flieger nach Italien sitzen um mir mal ein bisschen Urlaub zu gönnen, weil ich meinen Titel jetzt gegen ungefähr sechs Freaks verteidigt habe in zwei Matches und ich jetzt ganz einfach keinen Bock habe. Bye bye, ihr Penner. Wait, can he just do that, go on vacation and tell it? Nein, wait. Ich akzeptiere das nicht. Ich bin nicht aus Frankfurt nach Thale gefahren für kein Match. Ich bin hier für eine Party. Ja, wenn es eine Party sein soll, kommt hier dein Gegner. Well, if it's a party you want, it's a party you're going to get. We've got the Holy Show playing his axe.
mit einem Kampfgewicht von 80 Kilo und direkt aus dem Tourbus, meine Damen und Herren, The Holy Show, Damon Sain! And there he is, hey ho, Holy Show, Damon Sain! Beloved by the crowd here. He's been with us from almost the start, Dane and Saint. He's experienced some ups and downs in this company. And this company has become a huge part of his life. These fans, they're rolling it. That's what matters to him. And of course, he loves to party just like Maggot. So let's see what we've got here. Let's see how these two gentlemen match up to one another. Of course, the height advantage goes to David Say. The experience advantage goes to Maggot. Of course, Maggot. Somebody can play mind games. Now, bag it. <laughs> this maggot cracks me up. Play a little air guitar in his just unorthodox matter. And now these two men lock up. Maggot now, headlock takeover. Technical kisses the forehead. That's, I would not want to be licked on the forehead by Mag. You don't, you know, you, you'll never know what that mouth and that beard and that tongue has been. And now pushing off Maggot, boom! Maggot walking right through it. This is hilarious. Maggot now posing as if he's Hulk Hogan. This guy is hilarious because he knows he's the smallest guy on the roster. This is also telling that Damon Sane, he needs to step up and he needs to step up quick. Otherwise, he's just going to be out wrestled here. Maggot now clapping on that headlock tight. Now the Holy Show coming out of the corner. Ma Maggot, oh, coming out of the corner. And once again, walking through Damon Sane. So Maggot, perhaps the more conditioned athlete of the two. Well, Damon Sane is a lot larger. And now that those forearms send, send Damon Sane reeling now. Push off. Damon Sane go behind. Oh, he barely got him. Didn't get all of it. He just barely grazed him, I think. Maggot is still up. Maggot now stepping over, stepping under. Swiss blade by Damon Saint. Damon Saint now. Oh, planting Maggot face first into the mat. Maggot now kicking out. Maggot now, perhaps, I didn't see it correctly and he didn't get, I think his face didn't get all of the mat, because he was still walking after that. Well, I don't know if he will be walking after this dive that we just saw. And Damon Sage just, he just took his time, got distracted by messing around with the crowd. Maggot was right there. And now, planting his face in the apron. Maggot now breaking the count, crafty, very, very crafty. And now, Damon Sage going low, going low, going up high. But Maggot now fighting back with that chop. Hit the throat of Damon Saints. Spinning him around that ring apron. Sorry, that uh, that ring post. Maggot has got a lot of fans in the crowd as well tonight. Plus, they admire the fact that he didn't just sit back or go back to the dressing room when Karai apparently appeared to uh, be off to the airport. If, whether in fact he is or not, I don't know.
And now, Holy Show fighting off Maggot. Maggot now. Where is he going? He's going for another run around the ring. And again, connecting, boot scraping. Holy Show. Not once, but twice now. Holy Show needs to step up his game. Otherwise, he will not be able to compete with experienced wrestlers such as Maggot. He outweighs Maggot. He, he, he is a lot taller. He should be able to overpower him. But he is getting the shit kicked out of him right now. And the crowd now starting up the Holy Show chant. And now Holy Show is fighting off Maggot who's trying to suplex him. But he suplexes him anyway. He suplexes him anyway even though Holy Show try to fight it. And now David said, is he going for the ride again? Yes, he is. And again, Maggot suplexed him almost out of his socks. And now we've got two dueling chants. The sympathy for Maggot is growing in his crowd. Perhaps they like the unorthodox. They like the strays. They like the violent. And now, speaking of violent, Maggot kicked him inside out and almost secured the victory there. And now the eccentric Maggot. Tuning up the band. And Maggot now. Oh, Holy Show connected with a clothesline. Another clothesline. Maggot is still coming at him. As if it never happened. And now, suplex by Holy Show. And Holy Show now, but wanting to go for some payback with a flurry of European uppercuts. The referee is just trying to count him out right now. He's not listening, might get himself disqualified even. That stuff cannot go on too long. That will only fly so long. And now, the Holy Show just completely unleashed himself upon Maggot, trying to vent out all his frustrations. He has to be careful not to get blown up because Maggot appears to have reserved a lot of energy just trying to gather his wits about it right now. Oh, wait. Clear the cobwebs. And Maggot appears to be immune to pain. Or Damon said his points is just plain suck. And now, Maggot. Insigiri hit his mark, still Maggot. Maggot is like a zombie, he keeps on coming back. He's got the hygiene of a zombie as well as it appears. And now, Maggot whipping in Damon Saint, who just springboarding off, catching Maggot with a crossbody now. A coffin drop sent on variation type maneuver. Uh, Maggot kicks out. And now, Fisherman Buster sit out and oh!
And now Rock in the ropes. Swanton missed. Maggot on the outside now. Scaling the ropes himself. Maggot, his ascension has begun. Now perched on the top. Comes flying off, cross body, beautifully executed. Rolling through now. Nice takedown spear, one, two, and that's Sashi, no, 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 no. The Holy Show is still in the game. The Holy Show is still in the game, and now Maggot short on clothesline, sending Show inside out. Show now kicking out, but barely, barely. If Maggot had sitched in that pinfall, he would have taken this one home. But yet, the cover was a bit lazy, allowing, this is my analysis, right? Allowing the Holy Show just to barely kick out without too much effort. So you should secure all four corners of somebody's upper body in order to get the victory if they're still not down and out completely. And now, Snap German, that took something out. Maggot apparently who looks over and looks a little bit glazed but is still moving around well enough to punch show right in the noggin and now dueling on the top rope fighting for position right now trying to get the better position oh nice step up in Sagiri by Maggot and Damon Sane is out on his feet on the top rope. That's not good. Standing now, teetering on the second rope. Maggot following him up. Now Maggot has got him in superplex position. Second rope, superplex, beautifully executed. Flat as a pancake goes Damon Saint. And now one, two, and no. Taking him on one, two, and three. That was it. Oh my God, he stole one. Damon Saint stole one. Maggot can't believe it. Well, you better believe it, buddy. Meine Damen und Herren, der Gewinner dieses Matches, the Holy Show, Damon Saint. Well, we didn't see that coming, ladies and gentlemen, but just, just like that, the tide can change in a professional wrestling match. Luckily, Maggot is a good sport about it. They had a great match here, these gentlemen. They both acknowledged that. Damon Saint had his moments, but this match was pretty much all maggot, just beating the living crap out of Damon Saint. I hope Damon Saint, he learned a valuable lesson tonight. And hopefully Maggot did as well, because this should have never happened. But it did. That's why Damon Saint is on top right now. What? Charles Crowley, but why? Why didn't you expect to see me? No, tell me, please, please tell me. Can you pull focus if I get this? Oh, too slow. I don't give a shit. Okay, I don't give a shit about anything right now. As you can see, I'm holding a TNT championship. I'm a main event boy. I am the talk of the town internationally. I was going to say England. I was going to say United Kingdom. But it's not. It's everywhere. Especially amongst your fans. And yet you do not doth dare bring in the twat. <sighs> Interesting, that. But you do want to bring in Maggot. Huh. Why? Is it because he's near? Is it because he's cheaper just to get over there? He's a local boy. If you want the twat, you will pay for the twat. And I know you want the twat, because the fans want the twat. So, are you going to get the twat? Ladies and gentlemen, the twat and the twat was out of breath. Meanwhile, Maggot had a great showing tonight, and so did Damon Saint. What does that Crowley guy want? Damon! Here! Yes, is it Pesce?
Ben nicht! Ey, kostet mir den Titel! Von mir aus nimmt mir meinen Whisky! Nimm mir das fucking Mikrofon! In der nächsten Show! Ihr drei seht besser gegen mir! 4, 0! Und wenn ich verliere, kann ich nicht mehr um die Unlimited Championship catchen. Tale, ich begrüße euch und vor allen Dingen begrüße ich Kat, Herbert und Chris. Willkommen zur Club Show. Die Nummer 1 ist wieder zurück in der Limited Wrestling. Und die letzten Monate, da habt ihr mir das Leben zur Hölle gemacht. Ihr habt mir einen Titel gekostet. Ihr habt mir eine Pronos genommen. Ihr habt mir einen Whisky genommen. Das war für mich okay. Denn ich habe immer noch. Mitgefühl. Es sind immer noch meine Kinder. Mein Gott, mein Vater steht zu seinen Kindern, egal was sie tun. Aber was ihr mit meinem Dad gemacht habt, das geht gar nicht. Und deshalb, so wie er bei mir machen musste, werde ich auch heute euch ein paar Lektionen erteilen, die ihr noch nicht wusstet. Ich werde euch so dermaßen den Arsch versohlen, dass ihr euch wünschen würdet, nie gegen mir getört zu sein. Und deshalb, kick gut zu, horch gut zu. Und vor allen Dingen lernt daraus, was passiert, wenn man sich mit dem falschen Berlin anlegt. Denn heute heißt es wieder, das ist Berlin! Und ich bin die Nummer 1. Und jetzt wollen wir mal loslegen. Meine Damen und Herren, das nächste Match ist ein 3-on-1-Handicap-Match. Es ist angelegt auf einen Fall. Und wenn Nicolas Kluth verliert, dann darf er niemals um die Unlimited Wrestling Championship antreten. Auf dem Weg zum Ring. The stakes are high and the time is now. It is time for the handicap match. Mit einem Kampfgewicht von 75 Kilogramm aus Haldens Leben. Er ist Submission Ultra. Herbivara. Herbivara one third. Of catharsis, the submission ultra, looking to put his exclamation point on his handiwork, his contribution to the downfall of Nicholas Clue. Mit einem Kampfgewicht von 111 Kilogramm. Er ist der Koloss aus Leipzig. Ladies and Gentlemen, Chris Titan! Master of the Titan Falls appears to be in a bad mood. And there's the brain of the outfit. Sie kommt aus den Gassen dieser Stadt und hat die schärfsten Krallen einer jeden Katze. Ladies and Gentlemen, Red Cat! Bitte begrüßen Sie Katasis! When you look at you, when you, you look at the facts and you look back at history and then how it all went down. There's no doubt that all of this, the, the entire betrayal, was orchestrated by Red Cat.
And tonight she is looking to put away Nicholas Clue for good because if he were to lose this match, then Nicholas Clue can never, ever challenge for the Unlimited Wrestling Championship ever again. And these three people are here to make sure of that. Will they get their way? Or will Nicholas Kluge be able to extract his revenge? Here kommt ihr Gegner! And here we go! Mit einem Kampfgewicht von 49 Flaschen Whisky. Direkt aus dem Wellinger Kies. Hier ist die Berliner Schnauze. Ladies and Gentlemen, Nikolaus Klug. Perhaps the most popular catcher in German wrestling today. One of the biggest fan favorite, one of the most beloved superstars by fans and opponents alike. Nicholas Klug is setting the standard. Nicholas Klug is carrying the banner. But the question is, are we going to hear his trademark speech? Because right now he's standing in the middle of the ring He's being surrounded and now smashing his glass of whiskey over the head of Christy Tong. That leaves her Vivara. That leaves her Vivara in the in the corner. Looking at looking over in shock. The big man has just been taken out in a big way. Red Cat now. She's heading for the hills. Man, that came out of nowhere. This is no disqualification, folks. The question remains, how can you fight three men, or three people, rather? Well, the answer is by taking out the biggest guy as early as possible. That's the age-old tradition of the street fight. And here he comes, stomping a mud hole in Herbie Farah. He's got broccoli coming out of his ears right now. Klug looks incensed. The outrage, the anger, the pent up frustration, everything. He has to let everything out in this match. He's fighting three people and there's Cat already with the distraction. Now Klug going for Cat. Herbie Farah using that distraction. Giving him a couple of well-educated kicks. Now strikes low, going low to the body. Go low to the body, go low to the body, trying to set the strength. But Clued has a wherewithal to put his guard up. And now firing back here is Clued. Wide array of punches. He is swinging for the fences right now, following up with a clothesline. And now, Nicholas Clued, Irish whipping Herbie Farr into the corner. And now, Herbie Farr. Oh, being beaten from pillar to post. Forearm now and a hard one to the jaw. And we know Klug loves to play around with his opponents and the crowd, but this is no time for mind games. This is no place for being distracted. You have to go for the win quick. 
Otherwise, the distractions are plentiful. You are still fighting three opponents. You are still in there on your own. You do not have any background. And already, Herbie Forrest clotheslined down Nicholas Kluge. And now returning to favor when it comes to mud hole stopping. Nicholas Kluge, in a bad way right now, has to clear the cobwebs because as soon as Christy Tong has been able to revive himself, or Red Cat has been able to revive the big man, he's got a major problem on his hand because the big man is going to be looking to get even and now kicks to the chest, trying to target the lungs of Nicholas Kluge. If you have no air in your lungs, you have no gas in the tank. Gas in the tank is what you need in an environment like this. And now Kluge says no, put him on the brakes. Oh, and a hard clothesline now. Another hard clothesline to Herbie Farah. Nicholas Kluge, he's a showman. But he's also a fighter. And there comes a time when you have to choose what you want to be in life. There has to be a time where you separate the men from the boys. And if there was any time for that, then this is the time. Now is the time, Nicholas Clue. If you want to prove yourself, if you want to prove your work in the wrestling world, you have to step up like no way, you know, like you have never done before. You have to resort to the level of violence that your opponents are willing to inf inflict on you. You have to be one step ahead of the game the entire time. Kluk now, setting Herbie Varo up for a very beautiful standing suplex. Oh, and he just slams him out of that position. Kluk now taking his time. Red Cat is right there. Red Cat is right there, but Kloot is not phased. Oh, and now Cat has dragged herself in the ring by the boot of the Berliner Schnauzer. And I do not know if that was her, were, that was her intention. Christy Tan is still out. And now, oh no, Red Cat is being muscled into a power bomb, And she's being powerbombed right on her Vara. I don't know who took the worst of that, but probably that took the little air out of the lungs of both of these people. And now, Berlina knee drop. One, two, and oh, Christy Tan making the save for his team. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching Firewall. You are watching Unlimited Wrestling and the drama that is unfolding before your very eyes is the handicap match between the former Clute brand, now known as Catharsis, and their former leader, Nicholas Clute. And the big man now trading with Nicholas Clute, who's using the headbutt. Man, you have to bring the big guns when you're fighting a guy like that. And now from behind, Herbie Fowler. That's Submission Ultra, the big man now. Who would ever thought that it would come to this a couple of years ago when these guys were working together as a cohe cohesive unit. Now they're at odds. Now they're at war. And then it's, this is all about one thing. This is about power. This is con about control. This is all about ego, ladies and gentlemen. The ego of that young lady that is hanging from the boot of Nicholas Clue right now. And she's doing a great job of distracting Clue. And if you're just tuning in, you're, you're wondering what is going on. This is a three-on-one handicap match with no disqualification rules. There is no tag rule. This is tornado rules, so they can all be in there at once. The odds are stacked against Nicholas Klute heavily. Oh, that will take the breath out of your body. As well as bruise a couple of, of ribs in the process. Speaking of which... Big sand talk by the big man, one. Two, is that it? No, Nicholas Clue kicking out. You gotta wonder what's going through the pretty little, through that pretty little head of, the thoughts are going through that pretty little head of Red Cat right now because she's just, she's strategizing. She's calling the shots from the corner. Look at, there she is. Ah! 
by the back break now with the nail. They just could, could see the pain, the expression on Clute's face, and, and Cat is now just getting in position behind Clute the entire time. Just adding her two cents continuously. No! Oh! Hell of a kick! And now, one, two, was that it? Nice cover, by the way. Nice cover by Herbie Farr, but to no avail. And again, the back rake, those nails from Red Cat. Cannot believe that that's legal, but it is, ladies and gentlemen, it is. It is as legal as a headlock in this environment, in this particular matchup. Oh, and now clothesline to Red Cat. He is literally fighting off three people now. He is Lick Nicholas Clue, and he is our hero. This guy is putting it all on the line. If he loses this, and he might very well lose this after this, covered out by Red Cat. No! Kicked out! Right there. If he would have if he would have lost the match right there, he would not be able to challenge for the unlimited wrestling championship anymore. Not now, not in the future, not ever, ladies and gentlemen. And man, you have to, whatever happens in this matchup, whatever happens after this matchup, you have to respect Clute's journey. And there's the Titan Falls. This is bad. That's the game changer right there. Wait, wait, wait. What is, what is Herbie Farah telling, telling the Colossus from Leipzig? What are we doing? Cat is not covering now. What is Herbie Farah actually suggesting that that big man is going to scale the top rope and just go? Oh, no! Oh my God! Clue now fighting back. The big man is still on the top rope. Very unfamiliar territory for him. Oh! And Cat wanted to be part of the game, so Clue is making her part of the game. And Clue now exploding on his opponents. Take it out with the TKO. Herbie Farr is down. It's one, two, and Herbie Farr kicks out. The big man is still crotched on the top rope. He is in a world of hurt. Cat is down. Herbie Farr is down. Clute is fighting them all off. This is incredible. What a gallant effort. How courageous. The bravery. This testicular fortitude. Clute now digging deep into his reserves. We have seen both Herbie Farah. And the Colossus of Leipzig, Christy Todd being victorious over Clued due to outside intervention in singles competition. And there is the outside intervention. Once again, hanging from the legs of Clued. Now almost begging Clued not to hurt her. Do not fall for it, Clued. Do not fall for it. Herbie Forrester once again taking a Clued straight away. What a sniper this guy is. And now, Herbie Far with that. Oh! Inferred a crossroad maneuver from a draping position. That could be fatal. And now, Red Cat trying to revive Christy Todd. Trying to coach Christy Todd up those ropes. And the big boy now, the big boy is looking to put an end to Nicholas Gluten now. He sure is taking his time and a splash hits his mark. This is over. Biggest splash I've ever seen. That's it. What a tragic ending. What an unexpected outcome. The winner, Jesus Pikes, Katarzy. I mean, three people.
removal is overwhelming, but unexpected. It is an unexpected turn because, let's be honest, never ever would I have thought that we would not see Nicholas Clue ch challenge for the unlimited wrestling heavyweight title. Not in a million years. This guy. This guy, this guy added so much to the growth of this company. This guy, this company made this guy a star. It's just, they have a symbiotic relationship. Unlimited Wrestling and Nicholas Clude. And Nicholas Clude has been so successful in this company. Holding the Challenge Championship. Representing this company in other places. Traveling abroad, traveling to Belgium, France, the Netherlands, Austria. All that work, just to all have it come crashing down on you like that, like Christy Tom did. What an unfortunate turn of events here for Nicholas Kluth. And you know, sometimes it's. I understand if you want to get even with people, if you want to have your, your day in the sun, your revenge, your whatever you want to call it, get even. But look at the price he had to pay in order to try and get even. At the end of the day, I don't think it was worth it. Man. I don't think it was worth it at all. I mean, you know, on a personal note, I've always enjoyed seeing Clue you know, performing his ring and entertain us. And just the thought alone that he cannot, that he will never be a limited wrestling champion. That's just surreal. In wenigen Minuten ist es soweit. Das Main Event steht an und ich stehe hier neben dem Champion John Bad Bounce Klinge mit seiner Frau Svenja. Du hast schon viele großartige Gegner gehabt. Du hast sie alle besiegt, doch jetzt hast du einen Gegner, der dich wahrscheinlich am besten kennt. Belastet dich das irgendwie, dass sich dein Blutsbode hintergangen hat? Er kann seinen Maul aufreißen. Er kann Titelmatches fordern. Er kann meine Frau mitnehmen. Niemand redet über meinen Bad Brödel so. Er kann. Sei dir bewusst, auf was du dich heute eingelassen hast. Hast du gesehen, was ich mit Mudo angestellt habe? Den habe ich als Freund bezeichnet. Das hier. Das hier ist persönlich. Du bist Familie, du bist ein Bruder. Du hast mich mit dem Teufel angelegt. Heute wirst du niederknien. Du wirst deine Kutte ablegen. Er kann alles. Ja, er kann hören, wie die Halle. Bad Bones gonna kill you. Bad Bones gonna kill you. Anstimmt. Er kann. Ich werde dich königlich richten. Eins, zwei, drei. Just like that. Meine Damen und Herren, liebe Kinder im Publikum, auch das folgende Match ist ein Single Match angelegt auf einem Vor. Auf dem Weg zum Ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Directly from Warsaw, Poland, he is the perfect man, ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Crane. Jacob Crane is back. You've seen him before here in the past at Unlimited Wrestling, of course, representing Poland. This man is very full of himself, ladies and gentlemen. This is a spectacle to behold. He's gained some size since the last time we've seen him. Well, 
Well, you didn't gain any fans in here at uh, Unlimited Wrestling, that's for sure, but still, he very much appreciates himself. some anarchy with Mr. Montana we've seen this guy before mit einem Kampfgewicht von 81 kg direkt aus Chile er ist suicida elexia ladies and gentlemen anarcho montania Anarco Montagna, we've seen him at Underground in a very eccentric display against, as far as I can recall, an anime demon. Let's see how the Lucha fares tonight. He's bringing a lot of colors here. Let's see how his Lucha style matches up against the Polish style of Jacob Crane. Very interesting matchup. We've got a contrast of styles here. Jacob Crane has got a size advantage in this matchup. As I said before, we didn't know him as a very large competitor, but he's ballooned up uh, a little bit. He's looking good, he's in shape, he's in a very bad mood. He's very, very much annoyed. He got out of bed annoyed this morning. He heard his alarm clock and he was like, oh my God, another day, I have to put up with people. People of all shapes and sizes, of all different colors. He hates each and every one equally. He just likes one person, and that's Jacob Crane. We've got a very passive aggressive shoving contest going on here. Ah, served you right for being childish, Jacob Crane. Tanya now, ducking under that line, and a very nice head scissors, Luchador. Jacob, see how Jacob anticipated on the ring wherewithal timing error that Montagna made. Wanted to run the, the wrong corner, but Jacob Crane was right there to anticipate when he did run towards him. So, very smooth maneuver here now by Montagna. And Ark now trying to secure a victory in the early goings. Stubby little legs of Jacob Crane kick out. Jacob Cray now should go to overpowering his opponent instantly, I think. He should overwhelm him, just bull rush him, you're the larger man. Use that fact, and now kicking out of this pinning predicament, yet another one. You know, one of these times, one of those pinning combinations, one of the many, many pinning combinations that's being... Was that a boss man slam? And why did Jacob Crane go out after he just got boss man slammed his opponent? So, as far as I could see, Jacob Clay, uh, Crane just saved himself with that black hole slam, but had to run for the hills afterwards. Had to run for cover. Montagna, of course, going for two pay suicide. No, six, six breaks it off, put, puts on the brakes very nicely with the 619. Yes, representing San Diego, California. That's where he's from, baby. And now, he went to go on the top rope, fell asleep on the top, top rope for a while. He's a narcoleptic. Now, 
inside out, cannonball, flip and fly, taking it to the sky. Anarch Montagna, got every color of the rainbow in his hair, a little bit of something for everyone, that's what he says. And now, coming out of the corner. Jacob Crane, typical Jacob Crane, very smart, very smart. Yeah, 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 the luchador told him, I'm not shaking your hand, we're in the middle of the fight. Well, Jacob Crane had no intention of shaking his hand. Jacob Crane had every intention to take his head off, which he's trying to still pull off right now. Look at this. There he goes. Put it on the neck crank. Very nice chin lock, catches, catch can style, very effective. How can you possibly hurt a human being with those elbows? This is a question that uh, our Mexican friend has, has to ask himself. Oh, but you can't hurt somebody with that, right? A clothesline right on the temple. Sending Anak inside out. Jacob Crane. Oh, Jacob Crane now putting the boots too. Montaigne. He wants the crowd to be ch uh, to be silent. He wants to wrestle in a, si a venue that's all muted from, from, from crowd noise. He doesn't want to hear these miserable people. That's, that's exactly what he thinks, not what I think. I love these people. I love this venue. I love, the, I love unlimited wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. This is Firewall. We've got some lucha action going on. We've got Mexico versus Poland or San Diego, wherever he's from. Now. And that's what brought the luchadors to the dance. Just wreck without, with reckless abandon, just dumping their bodies over the top rope, trying to take out their opponents in the process. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. He hit his mark, so right now he's effective. Who cares? Here he goes. Here he goes. Following up. No doubt with something spectacular. Springboard! into a double foot stomp. And now this took out Jacob Crane, that's it. What a convincing win here by Anna Montagna. Ladies and gentlemen, Montagna. the Gewinner dieses matches kommt aus Chile. El Suicida Excelencia. Es ist Anarco Montagna. Anarco Montagna, the punk rock luchador, a little bit of everything for everyone, just took out Jacob Crane. Convincing fashion. Very unorthodox. Very reckless. This guy's all punk rock. I'm sorry that I loved you. I'm sorry that I cared. I never should have loved you. I never should have cared. Ladies and Gentlemen, das folgende Match ist der Main Event des heutigen Abends und es ist ein Singles Match. Angelegt auf einen Fall. One und es geht um nichts Geringeres als um die Unlimited Wrestling Championship. Und hier kommt der Herausforderer.
brother versus brother. And here we've got Mr. European Uppercut standing six foot seven inches tall from Berlin by way of Kosovo. This is the all one and only Mr. Cash Money, Erkan Sultani, the Blutbrüder. A man who stood by the side of our champion for many, many years. Only to turn on him on the last show. And Bray Mahava was a big shock, but not just to us, but also to Bad Bones, his new wife. She got in the mix. Erkan got her involved. And anytime two people, two friends who are like brothers fight, cannot be anything else but personal. But is it personal? Or, or was this just an elaborate ploy on the part of Erkan Sultani to get his hands on that prestigious unlimited wrestling championship? Here comes sein Gegner, here comes der champion! Well, we're going to see how it unfolds because on his way with his brand new lovely wife, Svenja, the man who will walk through fire, the man who will never stop, the man who is relentless, who is fearless, and who is loved by many. The man who has been anointed as the most dangerous man in European wrestling. The man that, that, that carried that unlimited wrestling championship title ever so proudly. John Bad Bolts. Klinger, the original, Blut Bluda. Svenja is by his side. This guy has got a score to settle. He's taking it up for the honor of his wife, of course. But also, his personal relationship with Aircon. I expect this to be emotional. I expect this to be violent. Tempers are going to flare. Maybe the ring should be reinforced. Maybe we should get some more referees and officials out there, out here to, to, to keep these guys in line because, man, I can feel it coming in the air tonight. There's just something different about this title defense. And how do you think Svenja is feeling? She, she's walking her husband to the ring for the very first time. And it's under these circumstances where he is fighting his best friend. This is a roller coaster, a whirlwind of emotions. But the word emotion has become synonymous with John Badbone's clinic. This guy is all heart. He's all emotion. He's all passion. He's all pride. Well, that was the chant he predicted. <laughs> Now kissing his wife. I hope he's not kissing her goodbye. 
But daddy's going to work. Just a modern day at the office. Ich möchte euch die Kämpfer des heutigen Mainfights vorstellen. John is taking the microphone. Bad Bones gonna kill you. Erica looking to straw. Zu meiner Linken der Herausforderer. Meine Damen und Herren, mit einem Kampfgewicht von 102 Kilo. Er ist bekannt als Mr. Uppercut, der High Flyer Killer, The Golden Boy, direkt aus Berlin. Er kann Sultani! Aircon is getting his introduction from the outside of the ring. Not that it matters with his size, but I mean, everyone can see him anyway, but it tells you something. He is very reluctant to get in there with bad balls. Zu meiner Rechten. Der amtierende Champion direkt aus Bad Bones City und der gefährlichste Mann im ganzen verdammten Wrestling heute. Wird der Blutsbruder begleitet von Svenja Bad Brödel Klinger? Meine Damen und Herren, John Bad Bones Klinger! Pacing back and forth like a caged lion. Aircon again, very reluctant to get into the ring. Well, at least Aircon is in the ring now. There's a considerable size advantage, even though the weight and the power advantage goes to Bad Bones John Klinger. Look, look at those legs on Erkan Sultani. You know what? I'm, that guy kicked you in the face and he tried that right away. Bad Bones was waiting for him. He had a well scout and took him down with that spear. Now following him to the outside and he's all over Erkan. Erkan now. Let's see, he says he's he's able to do everything. Erkan Alas, let's see if that is true. And Bad Bones now squealing like a pig on the outside of the ring. Look at him. He is hurting, man. He is hurting. And now, Bones just raining down punches on Erkan. And a chop, a hard chop with that glove. That that took the skin off of his chest, I'm sure. Double reversal now, and Bones with a backdrop as if Erica was just a small child. A guy with Erica's frame is being ragdolled. How often have you seen that? Just mowing the grass off of the chest of Erkan Sultani. And again, and Erkan is just trying to go for safety, trying to hide for cover. He just wants to get out of the way of Bad Bones John Klinger, who is on a mission today, as it appears, to defend the honor of his bride, Svenja. And now, Erkan now to the top to the second rope. Coming off! With that spinning European uppercut, he just dove into his former best friend. As Svenja is looking on with a stern, concerned expression on her face, she would see nothing rather than her husband on top, no pun intended, than her husband on top in this match. And now, 
Erkan. He is on bones. European uppercut. Nobody does him better. European! She could she just see the neck of Bagel snap back on the impact of that European. Ericon has got a very erratic wrestling style. It's hard to point out a method to his madness, but this guy gets the job done. Look at that big boot. Look at that big boot. So much power behind those legs. This guy's just so tall, so lanky and tall. He can move away, around really well for his size. He's had. He's held championship throughout the years in numerous places. Oh, and that will hurt any man. Doesn't matter if you're bad bones, John Klinger. Doesn't matter who you are. This guy's just coming for you. And cut like a professional hitman in there. Taking out his opponent, sniping on him. Oh, and again, taking his head off with that European. What does it tell you that men betray their best friends in order to get their hands on the Unlimited Wrestling Championship? Nice suplex there, right on the logo. But what does that tell you? It tells you that this covenant title, this prestigious belt, is on each and every wrestler's mind right now within the European circuit and far outside of the European circuit, as we can tell from the participants of Restiful. This is an international affair. And everybody knows what's at stake. Everybody knows how prestigious this title is. Look at what it's done for Bad Bones. Look how he came out. Oh, the power now. Bad Bones. Whether he wins or not tonight, he has had such a legendary and memorable run as the Unlimited Wrestling Champion. German suplex by Germany's greatest export product. Ekon Sultani thought that he could get the job done by blindsiding Bad Bones, by attacking him in front of his new wife, trying to get a psychological edge because of that. But I do not know why he thought that, because he knows Bad Bones better than almost anybody on the planet. But he probably doesn't know him well enough because Bad Bones John Klinger. Oh, draping DDT. Let's see what happens. One, two cannot be, no, 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 no. What I wanted to say is that Bad Bones John Klinger has made a career of fighting off adversity. This guy has been in every tough situation imaginable. Still coming out on top each and every time. Erica now choking the succubus. That, that's just highly illegal and the referee's not pointing it out. The succubus, you know, you cannot do that. Crowd now trying to get under the skin of Erkan Sultani. And Erkan Sultani now.
Bones now. Bowing up to his opponent. He's even pointing to his own jaw. That indestructible jaw. Give it to me, I'll give it right back to you. Erica now with a sense of urgency, whipping Bones into the corner. Really, really, really hard. Really hard. And John, his spine is suffering now. Again, here comes Sotani with the uppercut. Oh, Bones following him up with a forearm, now running to the same corner himself, and now following up again. These guys are trading back and forth. Ah, nice, nice veteran maneuver by John. Nice veteran maneuver. He outsmarted him again. But Erkan, man, he is a fighter. He is fighting Bad Bones tooth and nail. Even though Bones has the power advantage, Erkan, he is lanky. He's got reach. He's a striker. And he wants to prove the crowd wrong. Another German, but oh! Aircon is up with those long legs now. Oh, and both men are crashing into each other again. Oh my god, this is a battle of two bulls. Two Blutbluda, two blood brothers who know each other from, from, who have been knowing each other for years and years and years. Spending time on the road, spending time in the cars and hotels. Beating up people together, in and outside of the ring. Fighting in bars fighting at biker meetings. These guys are everywhere together, always having each other's back, always looking out for each other. This is almost, this is almost a Greek tragedy that is just unfolding before our very eyes. Bad Bones, John Klinger, does he have it in him? Does he have it in him to eventually pull the trigger on his best friend? That's the question. Because he might be mad, but man, you gain an awful lot of respect when you fight a man in a match like this, tooth and nail. Now, oh, clotheslining Bones right out of the ring again. As if, oh, power now, great power by Erica, who just irate Bad Bones and, and just tossed him into the chairs on the outside of the ring. Luckily, nobody got hurt. These guys are not minding their own safety anymore. They're not minding the safety of the crowd anymore. Things are getting out of hand, and that's what I was afraid of from the very start of this match. Things are taking a turn for the worse. And now 
out. He's grabbing Svenja. Let her go. What are you doing? Have you all crazy? Svenja just slapped the taste out of Erkan's mouth. Rightfully so, but now he's trying to attack Svenja. Bones was right there. Right, he just dove. He didn't look anymore. He just dove at him. He just and he's incensed. And now diving on the diving on the other side. Erkan cannot get away from him anymore. Bones is gonna kill him. Bones is going to kill. He put the he put his hands on his wife. Bones is gonna kill him. Bones is gonna kill him. Ref, ref, try to try to regain some order because this is one, two. Erkan kicked out. This is going to get out of hand. Both men are going to grab a weapon at some point. Or somebody from the crowd. There is a lot of tension in the air here. The referee now telling people in the crowd to calm down. People in the front row are ready to, people in the back as well, ready to riot here, are ready to have a go. And Erkan Sultani for what he just tried to do to Badmo John Klinger's wife. And John now. John is up. John now, bad intentions. All over. Grabbing the head of Erkan. He wants to drag him back in the ring and now Erkan fighting him. Both men are fighting for suplex position. Let's see who will get the better of this. Oh, no, 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 this is not good. Now, both men teetering on the apron. Teetering on the apron. Something has got to give. Oh! Cooked to the shin by Bones. Bones now. Oh, my God. Brain buster on the apron, the hardest part of the ring. Echo might have broken his neck. Bones might have broken his tailbone. Have you ever seen a heavyweight the size of Erkan Sultani? Six foot seven, well over a hundred kilograms, being folded double on the ring apron by a brain buster, quite like what just happened. Bones appears to be shocked by his own actions. And where is he going now? Oh, he's not done yet. I, th this is what I mean. You, you do not put your hands on somebody's wife. You can never predict how any man could respond to that, let alone the most dangerous man in wrestling, period. John, he's got the chair. Ergon can barely move, can barely get up. Do not do it, John. You will get your ass disqualified. Do not do it. Do not get disqualified. And now Svenja is pleading with him as well. So is the referee. Svenja is pleading. Do not, do not go there, Bones. Do not go there. This man used to be your friend. This is a professional environment. You cannot bring that chair in there. Svenja says do not do it. No matter what he's done. Oh, but he just walked. He hesitated a minute and walked into a super kick by Aka. One, two, and oh, we almost had a new champion. Erkan cannot believe it. Constantly betraying by the man who was willing to spare his life. What a snake this Erkan Sultani is. What a snake. This crowd is bonkers. This crowd is insane. This is unlimited wrestling. This is fireball. Oh. My name is Rico Bushido. I am the voice of champions, and I am sitting on the edge of my seat for this main event, ladies and gentlemen. And now, the shoe is on the other foot. Oh! But will Ergon be so merciful? Will he be just as merciful as Bones? Is this no disqualification? Is this the referee right there? Wow. 
the fact alone that they're bringing in a foreign object in this ring. And now, long blower! Code breaker! On the chair! Oh my God! And Bones is coming! Bones is moving! As I said when he walked out, he's got the willingness, the dedication, the faith, the conviction. He is so confident in himself, what he can do for himself, for these people and for his wife, that he will be able to walk through the fires of hell. But now, Erga Sotani just shoved the referee. Doesn't he have any respect for anybody? Just shoved the referee into the ropes. Now, Bones is crotched on that top rope. Erkan Sultani now following Bones up to that top rope. Getting ready to execute a superplex. He appears to be stable now. And now that's it. That's it. He just dropped. Bones up from three meters. That's it. No! How can you get up after that? Not just the height of that ring, but the, the size, that tall frame of Erkan Sultani carrying you all the way up. You must have come from three meters. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This is the metric system you're dealing with. We are Europeans. He came up from three meters high. And now, the pump handle position. Pump handle slam. Adding insult to injury. Aggravating the injury. Aggravating the situation. And now, Erkan seems to be contemplating on what to do. He's moving to the apron now. And now he is climbing to the top rope. Taking an awful long time to do so. And now coming from the top rope with that elbow. Bones his elbow. That bat his elbow. And that's no! Aircon having a fit. Aircon having a fit in there. He cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. The excitement, the crowd is with it every second of the way. And now, trying to go for that super kick. Babo put the brakes on him, executing a super kick of himself, for, of his own. And now, draping him over the knee. Bones getting him in position for a driver oh my god bones and that's it meine damen und herren der gewinner des heutigen main fights and still unlimited wrestling champion john bad bones John has just won the most emotional match of his life. And back and forth both men went and Aircom pulled out all stops, doing everything within his power, with everything within his control, playing mind games, power strikes, he did it all. 
just in order to get Bad Bones down, just in order to get his hands on that title. But in the end, the badness prevailed. Look at that power drive. Snap power drive. Embracing his wife. What a moment to share with the people you love. Standing tall is the baddest man in wrestling, period. John Bad Bones Klinger, your Unlimited Wrestling Champion. But what happens to the Blood Bluda? What happens to the friendship that these two men used to share? Something that was almost sacred to these guys. Is Bones taking off the patches? Is Bones taking off the patches of Erkan Sultani's jacket? Is he kicking him out of the Blutbrüder? Once you're a Blutbrüder, you're a Blutbrüder for life. Tyler, is Lee Boy. And we love you! Ihr wisst gar nicht, was es für ein Gefühl ist, hier jedes Mal herzukommen und eure Jubelschreie mitzukriegen. Der Erkan! Erkan! Ich dachte, er kann seinen Maul aufreißen. Komm her! Ask him, er kann to return to the world. So einfach kommst du mir nicht davon. Du weißt, was es heißt, oder? Wer kann? Eine Sache. Gab es, gab es jemals einen Moment, auf den du mich, auf, auf den du dich nicht auf mich verlassen konntest? Weißt du? Manchmal streiten Brüder. Manchmal schlagen sich Brüder. Brothers fight, that's what they do. Und manchmal muss der große Bruder dem kleinen Bruder zeigen, wo, die, wo der Frosch die Locken hat. Da gibt es eine Sache, die ich von dir wissen will. Der ist gut. Kann ich mich jederzeit auf dich verlassen? Bist du immer loyal mir gegenüber? Einmal Blutsbruder, immer Blutsbruder, Baby. Kiss the ring of the First Lady, what a sign of respect. And Erkan 
Sultani, Ize, Blutbrüder, for life. This is what it's all about. Respect. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rika Bushido. Thank you for watching Unlimited Wrestling. I will see you next time. Right here, baby, at Unlimited.